Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. And do you want to see a look of total disgust? This is it. Shocking news today. Stunning admissions today. And I, I really want to put a perspective on a whole bunch of things. The closing bell went off like 15 seconds ago. Despite stocks starting off the day higher, just like I outlined for you in the video uh, I did earlier today, stocks finished in the negative slightly across the board, not by much, despite several in our face attempts by the president to prop it up. We heard once again from the president, this is not Greg Manorino saying this, China wants to make a deal badly. Not just a little bit and not may want to, but badly. Well, if they want to so badly, why isn't a deal being made? That's number one. Um, and the, the market did not respond. It did not respond. It seems like this fairy tale literally is running out of, of gas or steam or dog shit, huh? whatever you want to say. I don't know what propels the man's mouth sometimes. And you know, I always give him credit where credit to do, but this is a charade. Um, markets did respond positively slightly when they paraded out Larry Kudlow today and he was putting his spin on China trade talks going going well uh, I guess because China wants a deal so badly look you can't make this stuff up it's absolutely impossible now here's something that we need to talk about and I mean seriously because I have covered this time and time again but no one wants to listen it's it's just it's unbelievable to me the president said today that china other countries around the world are devaluing their currency and this because the federal reserve has no clue this is his words um is not doing the right thing for the us economy because the dollar is too strong I want you to think about what he is saying. The president is admitting right here he wants to engage in not just a trade war with China because China wants to deal so badly. He wants to engage in a currency war. Now, it gets bigger than that. Please share this video, by the way, before I go off the deep end a little further. Um, so let's put a perspective on that. The president is correct. I'm going to give him credit here. In one respect, the weaker dollar, if he gets his wish, and this would be the fourth call for quantitative easing, okay? Quantitative easing, printing cash out of thin air, adding it to a digital screen, this punishes the dollar, okay? So this is number four now. Um, so what this does for multinational companies that are doing trade overseas, the weaker dollar is good for them. Absolutely, they make more money but it punishes the middle class. Why? Because it takes more weak dollars to buy anything. So you need to reach deeper in your pocket to buy things. Sure, this is great for the corporations. It's great for the stock market too. The weaker dollar boosts stock prices because it takes more weak dollars to buy a share of stock. Cause and effect, people. Cause and effect. And the saddest thing here is no one is going to open their mouth about it because they don't know any better. I have said this multiple times, the dumbing down of America and the American populace is, is complete. They cannot get any more stupid than they are. So they're going to be misled, lied to, used as pawns until, until never. They're never going to wake up. They are sleeping, period, not you. Now, I want to cover something else because it's going to get washed right off of the internet. In fact, I'm going to read this to you. A couple of things I want to read to you. The acting White House Chief of Staff, Mick Mulvaney, was caught 100% off guard today. And he admitted before the world, it's, this is not a secret to you, because I have outlined this literally since day one that China was not paying the tariffs. This is the statement he made. U.S. firms 
are paying for tariffs imposed on China. The man, the color almost washed completely out of his face. Now, I have a nice snapshot of this, which I posted on Facebook, and I posted on Twitter. Before they pull this, go look at it for yourself. We are in Twilight Zone. Welcome to it. I want to, I want to share a few more things with you. Now, this is something you can take my word for it or you can look it up yourself. This is incredible. American citizens today, and I, this is me, are in way more debt now than they were during the last meltdown. Most people have no idea of that. Now, how you can verify what I'm about to tell you. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York's Center for Microeconomic Data, their stats, this is their numbers, not me. I'm not conjuring this up. U.S. household debt today, <laughs> are you ready for this? Have a seat is nearly one trillion dollars higher than it was during the meltdown. Their number, 869 billion. That's the debt burden that is being carried by American citizens. It gets better than that. Well, let me ask you before I move forward from that. Why are we not hearing about that from, let's say, the president or from Mick Mulvaney or from Larry Kudlow? Why are they not telling us this? Why is this information just not out there. Here's something else that's not out there. And it is out there. And I mean out there. Right now, today, and again, do not take my word for this. One in four Americans are now borrowing from their credit cards just to make ends meet. People, I can't stress this enough to you. Let me close this out, please. The United States economy is in free fall, and I, I did videos about this, I've spoken about it. We are in absolute free fall. The fact that we're going to be getting rate cuts, big ones, the fact that we're, our president has now called for four times quantitative easing, the fact that U.S. citizens are, I mean, in more debt than they could ever have dreamed of in their life. They're getting so desperate that they're going to borrow from credit cards just to make ends meet. Why are we not being told any of this? Why is the president not addressing these issues? Why? Because he needs to keep you distracted. I have to say this, and I do give credit where credit's due. This man is a liar and chief to the highest order. Today, before the admission from Mick Mulvaney, the acting White House chief of staff, that China is not paying the tariffs, he was out on CNBC Live explaining how the tariffs are good for the American people, how China's paying the tariffs and we're getting billions from it. This is a lie of such a high order that I can't even begin to explain it to you. People, something has got to change. And I am not an anti-Trumper whatsoever. I give this man credit every time he does something right, but this... Can anyone here, even if you are the biggest Trump supporter on the face of the earth, can you deny that we are being lied to right now on a scale that is so grand? It's hard to get your head around. Anyway, um, all the stuff I talked about, I posted on my Facebook page and on Twitter. If you want to see that snapshot of Mulvaney, he's like, the man, the color washed completely out of his face. It's unbelievable that we're catching these people, you know, in the act. It just goes away. It's unbelievable. The lies are now hitting a fever pitch. And I mean fever pitch. And you know why? Because we are in free fall. We are in collapse mode right here and right now. But you're not allowed to know it because you're not allowed to know the things that I'm trying to explain to you. And again, don't believe a damn thing I'm saying. Look it up for yourself. It's not so hard in this day and age. Uh, oh, anyway, um, look, I know I got a little bent out of shape here, but I really can't stand it anymore. It's, it's just, it's beyond belief, it truly is. People, look, pl please share this video. Please get it out there. We got to band together. We have got to come together, and we need to come together now. We are not each other's enemies. It's the sooner we all get hit to that, the better off we're all going to be. Otherwise, I can promise you, we're going down the toilet, and I mean so hard, people's heads are going to spin off. 
That's the truth. All right, look, I'm out of here in a, in a big way. Please share this video again. I, I, people need to hear this stuff, and they need to hear it now. See you tomorrow.